It sounds to me like you need a hundred million dollars, not five hundred thousand. Hit it! But I mean, at the moment, you really don't have anything. What are the challenges? What is your view of your target market? Well, a very good morning, ladies and gentlemen, to all of you. Thank you so much for joining us here this morning at the grand finale of the Livability Challenge 2018. We are seeking to discover solutions that address some of the biggest challenges of the 21st century. Six teams will have a showdown to win up to $1 million in funding. This year's focus is waste management and sustainable cooling. The biggest livability challenge that Asian cities face today is waste management. Getting people to focus on how big a problem it is to take sustainability really seriously. Responsible consumption and therefore waste management. The city pollution. Congestion. So obviously it affects the livability of the cities. And overuse of uh, resources. Good morning. Imagine if we could change the world's attitude to waste. ASEAN countries now account for more than 50% of the world's ocean's plastic and there is no current solution to sort this problem out. We can make you a zero waste restaurant. Imagine that. We have been developing a holistic solution for air conditioning systems specifically designed for the tropics. Your competitors, will they, if they find enough funds, will they be able to do what you're doing and faster uh, and better than you? Is it purely commercial? Is it residential? Is it industrial? Is it broader? But have you done anything to study the economics of recycling? Terrible, terrible presentation, but a great product because you're raising a lot more questions than you've answered in your slides. The Livability Challenge is an innovative, methodical way of unearthing potential solutions to some of Asia's emerging urban challenges. The idea that not only looking at sustainable companies, but companies that are having a unique impact here in Singapore, here in hot and humid climates around the equator, those are problems that do hit a large region of the earth. So it's pretty exciting to see a lot of cool ideas that I hadn't seen before. So I invite you to join me into changing the perception and to introduce this sustainable, clean and more efficient technology. We can compete with existing products, particularly when you look at this as an aggregated solution, replacing air conditioners, purifiers, humidifiers, and rolling them all into one system. We're using too much straws. Singapore goes through two million straws a day. What we are really going after is single-use plastics. These articles that take five seconds to produce, you use it for five minutes, but it takes 500 years to degrade. It's insane. And we propose making fully biodegradable straws using our material. This is the only viable biodegradable plastic, full stop. I mean, you've obviously chosen single-use straws as a starting point. But is it equally applicable to other single-use items? Coffee cups, yes. plastic bags, pet bottles? It doesn't make sense to me that you didn't start with the plastic straws. There's just too much to do. Uh, we're talking about sh transitioning the world from 80 years of petroleum plastic to a new material. And I think that's about all, as much time as we have. So, the winner of the Livability Challenge 2018 is RWDC, Next Generation Drinking Straws. Congratulations, RWDC. Temasek Foundation Ecosperity has come on board awarding you funding of $980,000. I feel very thankful, very excited about uh, winning this challenge. Our next step is to use the funding to build a prototype. I am optimistic that the Asian cities will solve the challenges we face for the future, but we just need to start now. It's taken time, but I think the focus that the SDGs are getting at the moment is we're seeing a major elevation of interest. 
The event brought home that sustainability is front and center of everybody's minds. That you can make good money while pursuing good causes. You know, it's unstoppable. End of day technologies can bring us this far, but it's the connectivity of people that come together and help each other to grow this into a better place and a better home for all of us.